Yeah, yeah maybe it's just me. <laughs> oh, sorry, I totally forgot the question. I was finding like little fake hairs like on my tongue. Hey guys. Sorry, my hair is a mess. Good thing this isn't a video interview. So today um, is something that's very new for me. I've never done an interview. That's a lot, a lie. I've done interviews, I guess, for like films that I've done. When you go to the premiere, generally you do get interviewed a little bit, but this is the first time somebody like reached out and like wanted to interview me for their site. So I'm gonna leave a link um, so that you guys can read the full interview because I don't wanna post the full interview here. Like I want you to like go to their page and like read the article, you know? So I uploaded my video um, about being on This Is Us. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, like would you be interested in doing an interview and I was like an interview for what <laughs> like I don't feel like I'm very interesting but so what they are is it's a website called the dip d-i-p-p -P. they post just like exclusive content they're gonna call me in five minutes she's going to give me all the details in the interview because I'm not like 100% sure this is a brand new I, I'm pretty positive this website went live during quarantine so it's like brand new basically they were just since it is a website about like exclusive information they were interested in talking to somebody like me who's like been on these sets and worked with these actors before there's only so much that i can say obviously because i signed an nda yeah i think they were just looking for some inside scoop i don't know i guess we'll just see how it goes yeah i'm excited i'm excited and i'm nervous it's not a video it's going to be like a written article and the interview's gonna be happening over the phone. Probably the first time I felt some sort of purpose during quarantine. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, hi. Hi, it's Caitlin, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Thank you so much again for doing this, I really yeah, appreciate it. of course, are you kidding? TV fans want to know everything about TV, mm -hmm. and it's just like, to have someone on the set be able to give like some insight is just a really cool thing. No, I totally get it. You know, you've had other bigger roles, but you were like, I wanna do this video because of what a good experience it was yeah. because of people yeah. like Milo and Sterling. Mm -hmm. The main cast is so useful used to people going in and out. Sterling was pretty much done too. He was just getting his fake beard put in, which by the way, was like shedding all over me in the scene when we had to kiss. I was finding like little fake hairs like on my tongue. Slightly scandalous, but not that, not too scandalous. Yeah, yeah, just borderline, just right there. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot the question. The kiss is really like, the main part that matters because it's showing what his life would have been like you know he's a bachelor now i can't tell you how many times i've done like scenes where i really pour my heart and soul into it and i'm crying and this and that and then it airs and it's not even in the show <laughs> just the fact that they wanted to sit there and hang out like i know it doesn't sound like that big of a deal but it just never happens that's so good to hear, especially when you're knowing other horror stories. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> I mean, it's it's inevitable, you know, especially when your job as an actor is to be emotional. I've had to do like certain scenes where I'm like crying and screaming and I'm, I'm just looking at a wall because there, there are so many people. They took something that would have been a very short, very small experience for me and turned it into something that I will always remember. I'm, I'm just very grateful. Maybe it was you, you know, you just brought it out of them. Yeah, maybe it was just me. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate you talking to us about this. Of course, um, thank you. I actually do have a quick question. Could you just give me like a really brief rundown of the site? Are you familiar with Bustle? The two women who founded uh, The Dip, Mm -hmm. They were like founding members of Bustle. What we're doing is trying to really cater to some of like the biggest fan bases for specific shows and like give them like really detailed content that they, you know, couldn't get anywhere else. Eventually it'll be like you pick your favorite shows and then you get like a customized homepage that only shows you oh, cool. the shows that you watch. Yeah, all right, have a great rest of your day. All Thank right. you again. I'll be Me in touch. Too. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> God, that was so weird. I think it's really cool. I mean, I've never really heard of anything like that, but I'm also not like really, you know, keen on 
those types of websites like fan sites but when i was like a huge huge um fan of the walking dead i would have loved to hear some like insider information that i wouldn't have otherwise known about but yeah if you guys want to check it out it's the dip.com but yeah that was really fun i felt a little bit in my head just because i guess i knew that they were gonna use like my words in the interview then it makes you want to choose your words really wisely and that kind of stumps you from talking so like but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's a short little video but i thought it was something you know cute that was really exciting for me and really fun but yeah i'll uh, see you guys in the next one then bye